Hi friends, it's Rosalie at Satina Country Cottage. Welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to share with you how I decorated my country farmhouse hutch. I wanted it to resemble a farmer's market strawberry stand. I think I achieved the look I was going for. The hutch itself has been refinished in flat black and distressed to give it that rustic country primitive look. So starting at the top, I have this The Farm is My Happy Place sign which I purchased at Decor Steels, which is a home decor online store. These two box planters I purchased at Hobby Lobby and this beautiful chalkboard my husband made for me which I just hand wrote um, strawberries always sweet and juicy and I drew a couple of strawberries there just wanted something simple and an authentic farmers market feel to it that rooster I got also at Hobby Lobby on the second shelf I have some greenery placed in galvanized buckets wrapped with black and tan gingham ribbon. Peeking behind some new cream color plates I got at Hobby Lobby are my vintage pewter plates accented with red barn stars. In the center I have a small farmhouse strawberry sign sitting between two berry baskets filled with artificial strawberries I purchased from Amazon. On this shelf I have more cream and vintage pewter plates. And I thought it would be sweet to incorporate some simple black and white photos of my little girls, Jenny Rose and Ellie Ray, and placed alongside these cute frames topped with burlap bows are two little sheep all purchased from Hobby Lobby. I love decorating with vintage pieces that I've collected through the years. And I have set here on my buffet, part of my hutch, my two red tin um, pantry boxes on either side. And I've propped them open just enough to have some sprays of peppergrass peeking through them. And they're set, of course, in front of more vintage pewter plates and my cream plates from Hobby Lobby. And as you can see, they have really cute vintage pictures in front of them. And I could only assume that maybe they were used in some kind of country general store back in the day. Here is my three-tiered tray that I purchased not too long ago from Cracker Barrel. And I have it set up to look just like a display would be at a farmer's market, at least to me. Here on the top tray, I have a rooster sitting in a miniature olive bucket with a black and white enamel market sign and some strawberries sprinkled amidst um, some more pepper grass. And on the second tray, I have here my white creamer that is in the shape of a little cow. I got that at Home Goods a couple years ago. And the blessed sign is from Hobby Lobby. And there's just more peppergrass and strawberries sprinkled in there. And in the back I just have some yellow enamel um, miniature coffee cups or mugs that I've had for years. I purchased those from Tom's Farms. And on the bottom tray, I have a berry basket filled with strawberries and I have this chalkboard that I just wrote organic and I thought it was so sweet. And on the back, there is a little clothespin that you could clip on to any display, but I just tucked it in there and I just thought it looked so sweet and authentic um, to just kind of stick in there and I thought it just kind of completed that farmer's market look and of course I have to have the number five 
in there because we are a family of five. And on the opposite side, I have another strawberry um, basket and I have a little chalkboard, of course, saying five cents each with a little rooster there peeking through more pepper grass. And I just love the way that this um, display turned out. And finally, to finish off the look, I thought I would place my decorative three foot ladder that my husband made for me, just leaning up against the hutch, holding some um, tea towels and a farmhouse kitchen towel um, with some farm animals on it that I purchased at Target and I thought it was kind of a coincidence that um, I decorated with all three animals in my hutch that was not intentional I just happened to notice it after I finished decorating that I um, decorated with a rooster sheep and a cow um, and so obviously <laughs> they all went pretty well together. Um, there's my rooster and my little creamer cow right there. And then there's my two sweet little sheep. Thank you so much for watching my country farmhouse hutch tour. I hope you stop by the Satina Country Cottage again, but until then, I hope you find new and creative ways to make your home your happy place.